to the front, please. You know my wife, Fanny Farkle, and the youngsters, Marcus Farkle Farkle, and our twins, Simon and Gar Farkle, and her, that's Flicker Farkle. Hi! And this is our good and trusted neighbor, Ferd Burfle. Hi, Ferd. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Ferd. Hi, Frank. Hello. <laughs> it's nice of you to drop by. Our little league coach, Hank Hickle's coming over. Mm. Hi there. Hank Hickle. Hey, Frank Farkle. <laughs> Hank Hickle, my wife, Fanny Farkle. Hank Hickle, Fanny Farkle. This is our friend Ferd Burfle. Ferd Burfle, Hank Hickle. Hank Ferd, Ferd Hank. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. Howdy. I just came by to pick up your kids for the little league practice. I got the whole team out here. Hey, come on in, kids. Come on. There they are. Yeah, yeah. We got Ferd Cargo, Ferd Argo, Murph Farkle, Ferd Cargo, uh, Robert Gerber, Roy Gruber. Yeah, this is Mr. and Mrs. Farkle, Fred Burfle. Oh, yeah. Hi. Bye. Looking team you got there. Well, thanks, Bird. Say, how about my nephew joining up? Huh? Oh, well, I'd love to have him. Bring him on. Oh, Farquhar! Farquhar! There he is. Coming, Uncle. <laughs> That's a fine looking nephew you got there, Bird. <laughs> My name is Edith Ann, and I don't have to say nothing if I don't want, because I'm going to have a baby. You know how you could get a baby? First, you could get real fat. Then you could eat a lot of pickles. Then your daddy puts a lot of clothes in the car and gets real nervous and can't find the keys. And then the policeman gives you a ticket, and you take the ticket to the hospital, and they give you a little baby boy. And that's the truth. I'm so glad you could come over. Yes. It's been a long time. Oh, it sure has. Who's that? Oh, that's my brother, Mort. He ah. thinks he's a chair. And uh, who's that? Right here? Oh, this is Uncle Herb. He thinks he's a rocking chair. Hi, Uncle Herbie. Let's see, and uh, who's this uh, over here? Oh, that's my other brother, David. He thinks he's an end table. <laughs> Who is this? This is my daddy. Thinks he's a lamp. Hi, Daddy. I'm home. Well, it's quite a family you've got. Oh, it certainly is. Uh, whatever happened to that chap who used to go with, you know, Mike Roshkin? Oh, we got married. Oh. <laughs> Where is he uh, now? I'd rather like to meet him. Oh, he's out being reupholstered. I see. And your mother? Oh. She started to sag. Salvation Army picked her up this morning. <laughs> but let's, let's not get all depressed. <laughs> Listen, would you like to play the piano? Tune in next week to find out, can a weekend with the Salvation Army put the spring back in mom? Here come the big finish, folks! The entire world has become fashion and design conscious. Now, you all know that. And that even includes the armed services. Recently, for instance, the Marine Corps decided to redo the decor and the uniforms at El Toro Marine Base. And through the magic of television, we trip lightly to the office of Captain Butch Beagleman, who's in charge of very special services. <laughs> Starker? Call me Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi. Nice to see you. I've been expecting you. Let me uh, ask you, what do you have in mind uh, in the redoing of the El Toro Marine Base? Well, first off, green is out. Mm. Here. Here, look at this. Mm -hmm. That's pink. Right. A pink Marine is a happy Marine. <laughs> and see-through blouses, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, it's a safety device. No fashion-conscious enemy would shoot and ruin a nifty number like this. Mm. Right? I like your thinking. Oh, Let me ask you, what do you have in mind for the mess hall? Well, uh, if I may show you. Please uh, do. Captain, is it? Mm -hmm. Captain, um, I have 
individual dining nooks where the men can eat tete a tete. Get it? Oh, that's impossible. Regulations say they must wear blouses. <laughs> tete a tete is French for head to head. Oh, just testing. <laughs> Say, you've arranged for flowers and candlelight. Oh, Marvy. <laughs> well, <clears throat> as an ex-Marine, I think I know what the boys want. Hmm, you're a Marine, huh? Did you uh, see any action? You better believe it. About the rest of the area. Well, I have tulips on the parade ground, mm -hmm. and I see the administration building a psychedelic uh, chartreuse. Oh, gung-ho, gung, gung-ho. Gung oh, how about the barracks? Oh, really swell. Huh? They're most contemporary, low, long, one-level sleeping quarters. No more upper and lower berths. Oh, wait a minute. That means the men would have to double up. That's right. Mm. I like your thinking. Is there uh, anything else? Uh, yes, where do I re-enlist? Re well, why not? Well, I'm getting out next Thursday, you big ninny. <laughs> Girl Scout. Cookies. makes the elasticity. Oh, it must be the cyclinders. No, no, wait a minute. I'll get the owner's manual out of the glove compartment. That's got to tell us something, for heaven's sake. Yes, okay, all right, um, here it is. Uh, here, let's yeah. go. That'll tell us what to do. Okay, um... No! Oh, here it is, I see it right here. It is, uh -huh. I see it. In the event that your car becomes stalled on a dark, deserted road. It's either your carbitator or your generation or your cylinder. Right. Naturally. And the best thing to do is, uh... Ah! I see it says a, a dollar kiss. I'd, I'd like one. Oh, certainly, sir. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have a dollar. <laughs> The way the Wiener Schnitzer. <laughs> That's the way the veal cutlets. That's the way the pork. Well, I live in Des Moines, Iowa now. Des Moines, uh, Iowa? Uh, yeah. 17 no. years um, living in Australia. Yeah, I live in England now. Uh, this is oh, my, my baby. I was kind of surprised they were all uh, still alive. <laughs> been a while. This is a groovy life. This is a lot of fun. I may be black and blue before the season's done. In spite of chicken jokes, we're telling everyone that it's a socket to me. Very interesting. Cool, cool, laughing world. Oh. Oh. We never get up tight. We never hold a grudge. If worry's in the way, we give a little nudge. We let it all hang out. And yell, here come the judge. If your old boy is sleeping, better give him a nudge. Everybody look alive, because here comes the judge. Because it's a socket to me. Very interesting. Cool, cool, cool laughing world. I just want to swing. <laughs> Hi, Sailor New in town. Is this the Twilight Zone? It must be outer space. And lovely downtown Burbank is the place. Where ballerinas quack. Gehört in Flinder? Gehört in Flinder who? Gehört in Flinder, said for a man, a woman, and a dog. Oh, come on. 
by Henry Gibson. <laughs> the elevators work, but never up and down. We're wearing roller skates beneath the velvet gown. We think that Charles de Gaulle is really quite a clown. Because it's a target to me. Very interesting. Think cool, cool, laughing world. And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for. If we get really bored, try a nutty trick. If something lays an egg, we pull another stick. Is that a chicken joke? <laughs> we always end the fun by saying good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Good night, sweet prince. Because it's a socket to me. Very interesting. Cool, cool, laughing. It's a socket to me. 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 I suck to her once more, I'll scream. Very interesting. <laughs> the Sky by John Wayne. The sky is blue, the grass is green. Get off your butt and join the Marines. <laughs> Wrong. 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 You know, they don't pay me much on this show, so I couldn't afford to have my ears pierced. <laughs> so I stapled my earrings on. <laughs> No, I didn't. What happened? Well, he called his friend over and said, look what a, I found, a, a fire hydrant. Goldie, your heart's in the right place. It's your head I'm worried about. Well, I got an A and everything else. <laughs> I sell under things to nudists. Oh, what kind of under things? <laughs> Seat cushion. Peter, Peter, what would you get? If you cross the uh, ma <laughs> a mouse with an elephant. Oh, about halfway. Oh. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a chicken with a train? Feathers all over oh. the tracks. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my goodness. About halfway. You see? What do you get? If it cross the movie actors with a washing machine. A washing machine with four ex-husbands. <laughs> About halfway. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew a really, oh, oh, a really oh, gorgeous oh, nurse. Oh. A gorgeous nurse who ate an apple a day and it didn't keep the doctor away. <laughs> hey, Teresa, what do you get when you yeah. cross an elephant? Wait a minute, wait. I'm terrible. Now say it again, Alan. She has taken the whole plate. No, Miss the next door. No, I think Alan should say it again. Come on, Alan. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You know you can hurt a guy. Just dance so much. Go ahead. an elephant with one of Dick's girlfriends. No one cares anymore, Ella! <laughs> Did you know today is what? Don and Idaho's what? What? wedding anniversary? You want to speak up a little bit there, fella? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him push his hand. Yeah, you, you, know you know yeah. that today is Don and Idaho's wedding anniversary? Well, who cares, Sam? <laughs> Hey, Henry. Yes. Henry, in a submarine, did you know they put three beds, one on top of each other? That must be because it's Dan and Idaho's wedding anniversary. <laughs> hey, Henry, while you're hot, come out here. <laughs> what do you get if you cross the Rolling Stones with the Beatles or the Beatles with the Rolling Stones? Oh, hi, Henry's oh. baby. Oh, what do you get? How about a bunch of mashed potatoes? <laughs> Oh, 
What am I going? What am I going to get Dan in Idaho for their wedding? Is the kleptomaniac? <laughs> Your half brother? No, he's not. <laughs> Busy trying to figure out what to buy for Don and Idaho. How about a bite after the show? No, I got a date. Oh, you're going uh, out to eat with her? <laughs> <laughs> That's close. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get. I'm going with Sammy in Idaho. <laughs> My game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> well. This program was pre-recorded, so the cast would have time to make a getaway. Very interesting. What do you mean, very interesting? It was stupid. Yes, it was stupid. But it was also very interesting. It was not as interesting as it was stupid. Nonetheless, it was still interesting. <laughs> Stupid. Interesting. All right, all right. It was interesting, but it was also stupid. <laughs> Wolfgang, go to your dum-dum. What's a dum-dum? The Fuhrer is alive and living in Kate Smith. <laughs>